Now I know it's a chicken egg, but like, what if it's the red dragon that we see in the Konosuba opening? We could be getting baited. Konosuba could be just baiting us in the opening, and maybe there's actually no even red dragon fight, and it's just like, it's to bait us. But what if that egg actually turned into a red dragon? Just, I'm just saying, I, I feel like, you know, if Aqua is, you know, putting her, like, aura on it, I think, like, Vanya was doing some shit to it, too. There may be a chance that this could hatch into a legendary thing. Now, I think that we were also doing some kind of subjugation to the Hydra quest, right? And, uh, I just opened up the frame of this, and it's looking like, uh, Kazuma is visiting Eris right now. Let's begin today's reaction. What happened, bro? You're back already. <laughs> Why is she playing with us this time? <laughs> she got so bored. She's like, you know what? I always want to say that. You always come back here dead. Stinky. Darkness is stinky? <laughs> so this is the Hydra fight that she died from, right? <laughs> Alright, Chinchu might have survived though. This nose plug voice acting is pretty good. She probably wanted to get swallowed up by the Hydra. The sound effect there with the hand and the armor because Goopy, uh, but I heard a little bit of a delay, so I was wondering if Kazuma is hard right now, that he made contact with the armor below, but like delayed, that's why we heard the sound later. Together? <laughs> An eternal rest for the master of this lake, which is the Hydra or something? Oh, whoa, is Cosmo wearing Megumin's cape to cover his naked body? Something about this feels intimate. Reported? Did we take it out? What happened? Megumin want that? This is funny. Darkness like holding Megumin's staff. I don't know, a crusader like that holding the staff. I want to see her use explosion. <sighs> Bass scene. The, the, the Hydra ate our dick? Our dick got smaller? No. What? What? The Excalibur, I think, got shortened. Oh? Hmm. You're not coming in? Orin's hiding his ass crack. A masochist. A royal noble that loves getting beat down and being insulted. Oh, the ass chick is showing? Oh. Uh oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> What, what happened? What happened? <laughs> My cute little sister. Silver hair thief. That's us. That's us. That's, Co that's peak Cosmo in the moonlit fucking Vanir mask and, and Chris. That's us, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good one to post your bounty. Chris looks so evil there, man. Devil King General Bounty compare. Yo, I mean, in like, imagine this is One Piece, right? It, like, I'm gonna just compare this to a fucking Yonko, bro. It, Kazuma just fucking gets a bounty on a Yonko tier immediately. <laughs> Crimson Demon Fortune Teller. Oh wait, that's from the uh, oh, fuck. That was the bigger sister, right? Uh, there, there was a there was a taller, older girl that was also there was a funny like running gag between like a romantic ship. No, 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 no. That, that's no, no, no. There, there was a crystal ball girl though. 
there was a crystal ball girl at the Crimson Demon Village, right? From the, the, the not the OV, the spin-off series, right? <laughs> I just realized Union was here. I just realized Union is here. What in the fuck? Also, th this, this guy is... He's been like leeching off of Kazuma with like the free succubus tickets. I remember that from season one. It's a lot of money. Turn Kazuma in. It's like a buy one get two, right? So it's like if they, you know, take, you know, they find the the fucking thief, then the knights will come and take down the Hedra too. But it's like, how? You really think that normal people could take down, you know, a bounty poster that's worth almost as near as a like, Demon King General? Chicken egg. Wouldn't it be amazing if the dragon egg fucking hatched? And it's a chicken egg hatched and then it's an actual dragon and then the dragon fought the Hedra and won for us. She's like a rooster. She'll be the dragon mother. The dragon queen. Okay. You wanna do season one finale? Just insulted everybody. Money? Revenge? Really? Kazumin. Tomoske is having the time of his life. Look at him, bro. Look at her, actually, because she's actually the Dark God or some shit, right? It's got the environmental buffs. Oh, look at Chimusuke. Okay, that's her daily explosion and the Hydra, but it doesn't do anything, right? Oh, that's kind of clever. They're using the staff to mount the hat to act as an umbrella for both of them. Oh, then the explosion dance. Do we know why Darkness really wants to take down that Hydra? I, I Maybe I'm forgetting details from last episode, but they're kind of keeping it like... Kind of like obscure. It's like, why, why do you really want to take this down? Maybe it means just like, we don't know, right? It's supposed to be a secret. I'm like, am I forgetting something from last episode? Because they're, they're really hinting like, Darkness is hiding the true reason. It's like, I either forgot or like, I don't know. What is this song, bro? Oh, Darkness Armor? Cosmo, and Aerith pads her chest. Because she's a loser. <laughs> to Axel Place? No, that place is a fucking godforsaken land, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> so that would be Crimson Village. <laughs> no, they're a bunch of cult members. Uh, is that a flag? Are we going back? Jesus. She went to solo the Hydra? As much as how, like, as much as how, like, she hates Wiz, I'm surprised that she's so comfortable with leaving, you know, her fucking baby egg to Wiz. 
probably is taking a solo right now, right? <laughs> Mix all scars. Hey, what did you fight the Hydra before, bro? You're not even an adventurer. You're like an artisan, like basket weaver. What do you mean, mix all scars? Ache. He's amazing. He's fucking amazing, dude. My favorite character, without a doubt. Why is she so insistent on this? What is it? You know, I feel like they're setting up Darkness's motivations to beat the Hydra to be something so important and serious to the point where we had to rally up the entire town. But what if her motivations to beat the Hydra is something degenerate as usual? And it's just like, oh, you want to beat it for that? And it's gonna be like, what the fuck? It sets us up. And then something stupid happens. This is the dude that died during that fight against Dulahan. And then Darkness prayed for them, right? No, no, oh my god! It's the fucking Pompadour guy that we prayed for! Oh, he's making a comeback? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, I did get a look at that! <laughs> Damn! Big boy! <gasps> Bald! Yo, we got the whole team coordination! Let's go! Yo, yo, did, 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 did they not pay Union's voice actor for this season? Why, why are they doing this? Like in SAO Season 2, where they bring Agil, Tiffany. He exists there, but he doesn't say anything. She just exists here? I don't think I've heard her say anything. Did she talk? Did I miss something? Could she just like, just, oh, maybe I missed in the beginning, but it feels like she hasn't done shit except just exist so far. <laughs> That's a lot of blessings. <laughs> the decoy was pretty cool. <laughs> what, is, what, is, what is this part? <laughs> if you're dead, you really hates the Hydra, huh? Thief Squad! Okay, locked in! Explosion! Wait, are we holding it? Kazuma goes? Why? That's the only shot. Oh, drain touch, drain touch! We're getting so close! Alright, it's on land! Interesting, it has wings or legs like that. Uh oh, phase two. Unless darkness clutched. Oh, darkness clutched. <laughs> Close quarters fan service right now. Man, drain touch might be one of the most OP skills in this fucking world, huh? <laughs> That's an insult. Oh, wait. Peak! We'll die together? You know what? That would be very romantic. If we both died together and got, you know, summoned up to Eris and then she let us, you know, resurrect it. I feel like... That's a bonding experience, man. Dying together? Oh, 
The darkness will survive and we'll die. She's sweating on us, bro. And if we die by having the Hydra sit on darkness, which then sits on Kazuma, we literally got dead by Snoo Snoo from darkness, though. Oh, she's salivating! The Masochism power meter is building up. It's getting ready! I don't know. <laughs> this is getting so philosophical. <laughs> Imagine the recording booth of this voice actor's making that noise. Is he gonna clutch? No way. Nah, he's gonna die. <laughs> his name is Dust? That's like, I never knew his name. I just remember the guy that gets free tickets to the Succubus Bar from Cosmo sometimes. Rip Dust. I'm sure I'll call Resurrect. Dust is also alive. Cause that's the real head? Inks. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Inks. And Kazuma dies? You know what? I'm glad Dust had a moment like this. I am glad that, you know, background supporting side characters like this have their own little moments like that. You know, get a little recognition. <laughs> There's gotta be a reason. Union and Megumin duel. Your receptionist, how does that clothing stay on? Oh, We really have the whole gang here, huh? Give her some shua shua. Welcome to the club, buddy. Oh, Chomusuke. She go home? Jesus. She left, right? Why? Is there trouble back home? Dad? What's going on? Whoa, 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 why are you leaving again? What the fuck? So is the reason why she wanted to take down the Hydra to have one final big quest and save the town with everyone and have one last moment so that she would then disappear? Why? The fuck is going on back home? Let's get real, she's not actually leaving. We're gonna get her back, but why? It can't be! Darkness is dead! And that's today's episode. So peak. So peak. So hype. And then... What is this? What is this ending? At least, you, yeah, at least we can do like a fucking, you know, <laughs> we can do a clickbait title. Like, I can't believe Darkness died, guys. <laughs> what happened to Darkness? Why are there all sevens in chat right now? I'm just going to assume that the whole, you know, urgency to defeat the Hydra with everybody was to have one final big hurrah with the gang and save the town. One last memory for the books so that she would return home and take care of some duties. Was it mentioned before some family troubles in the past episodes? I think there was a mention of the dad. Was he sick? I can't remember. Is there pressure for her to get arranged married? I don't know. If that's the case, maybe it's time to step up, you know, and marry Darkness as Cosmo and Darkness ship just continues. But there's a lot of good moments from, you know, Cosmo and Darkness. Today's episode was fantastic. It was just a payoff episode, you know. I was confused on what was going on in the beginning, but basically we lost against the Hydra, Cosmo died, and then we kept going back and exploding. And then we gathered everybody, and then the entire crew came up. A lot of NPC side supporting characters that I'm sure a lot of people kind of forgot. I don't know why I obsess over, you know, not well-known side characters for some reason. It was cool to see them, you know, the, this, the Afro trio, right? Sorry, the Pompadour guy, and the Darkness, like, worshipping trio where we, like, prayed for them. And then even Dust, who's the guy that we give the Succubus tickets for. And then having the whole moment of hearing the darkness having the revelation that oh my god i'm getting crushed right now but also it's like the contradiction of am i the master or are you the master and she got so horny and defeated the hydra it was such a good moment and then oh yeah mohawk man also got a great scene and then she leaves for a reason we will find out next episode but that's it for me if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care